Hello, fellow collectors, and welcome to Stinger Diecast. Uh, earlier tonight, I learned of a wagon panel challenge from the uh, Nitro Speed channel. Um, I learned of this via a, a challenge video that uh, Red Room Diecast put together. And uh, I love wagons, and I had some wagons that I was planning to open in a video anyways. And so it seemed like a perfect excuse to... Uh, pull out some other wagons and uh, show them off and then add some some new entries into the collection in the process. So we're going to do a little bit of both in this uh, in this video. Um, and if you like this, uh, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment with your favorite at the end and subscribe to hear more of my senseless rambling. So to get started, we first have this Auto World 1963 Chevy Nova. I absolutely love this casting. Um, it's just beautiful. Simple, boring car. Nothing super fancy about it, but it's, uh, I just, I don't know. When this thing came out, I just fell in love with it. So we have it in this nice golden color. And um, I'm going to try to go through these fairly quickly, so I'm not going to, you know, go into great detail on, on their features or anything. We're just going to spin them and take a quick look at them. So then we also have it in blue. These came out in the same release um, earlier this year and there's another pair coming shortly I believe in the next next Auto World release. There'll be two more versions of this coming out. Beautiful casting. Um, next up we have a Chevy Nomad from Greenlight. Nice blue with white sidewalls and uh, I really like this casting. And so with that, I have a new addition. We have the Chevy Nomad from the Norman Rockwell series in white. So let's pull this out and give it a quick spin. <clears throat> it's very nice. Another basic, basic white color. Um, no white walls on this one, which is probably good because the tires would be kind of lost with the with the white paint. Um, silver on the window there. That's a little... Oops, and I just dropped that. Yeah, interesting. I don't really like it when they do that. Uh, but anyway, cool. Glad to have this one. It'll now join its brethren in the collection. Next up, we have a 1975 Buick Estate. This is another Auto World casting. This thing is absolutely massive. If you compare it to the <laughs> to the Chevy Nova, it's just it's just incredible how big these wagons got. Both supposed to be true 164 scale, so this thing is enormous. But it's very cool. Roof rack, very nice. Next up from Greenlight, we have the 1970 Plymouth Satellite. From the Black Bandit series. It's very cool. Blacked out version of this car. I think this thing looks awesome. I wasn't too sure about the Black Bandit series at first when I when I you know picked up the first couple ver of them. And uh, but as I've gotten more of them, I, I find more and more of them that I just absolutely love. And this one's very cool. Um, next up from Hot Wheels. We have the mini Austin minivan in the Led Zeppelin livery um, from Led Zeppelin 4. Um, this, is, <laughs> this is realistically probably my least favorite casting that I'm going to show, but it's still kind of cool. And I don't have a whole lot of uh, examples of panel vans in my collection. I do have one that I'm going to be adding. Actually, let's go ahead and do that right now. Um, uh, 1939 Chevrolet panel truck. Uh, so since I don't have very many, I uh, you know needed to dig something else out to include in this in this little retrospective. Um, but this one I do like. I can get it out of the plastic. This is very cool. Love this. Love this green and white green wheels. Silver grill headlights. Beautiful, beautiful. Love this one. Set it back there. All right, next up, Mini Cooper. Oh, okay. Let's see what we can see over here. 
Next up, we have a Datsun 510 wagon. This one is a custom that I made back in the brief period that I was doing customs. Apple computer racing livery on it. Um, and uh, I don't know, just an excuse to show this off. <laughs> Followed by this one I showed last week. Tomica Nissan Gloria. Love this one. Beautiful casting. Just a quick spin on that one. Next up we have the Volvo. This is from Hot Wheels. Volvo P220 Amazon Estate. I think this thing is super cool. There's a roll cage in there. This is from the Fast Wagons car culture set. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and do this uh, 77 Pontiac Le Mans. I guess it would be Le Mans in this scenario. Safari. I, don't know, but I had to pick this up. It just has such a 70s vibe to it. The colors, this wood paneling with these mag wheels. Um, I guess they're mag wheels. I'm sure somebody will correct me and tell me what the right term for these wheels are. Uh, and uh, very cool. I think this one even has an opening part. Let's see if it's going to open. Yep. Let's see inside. Trailer hitch. Very cool. And we have the 1989 Ford LTD. Crown Victoria Wagon. Uh, I had referred to this as a limited previously, and apparently that is incorrect. Um, it is a LTD, um, so a Quirky Garage 1999 had pointed that out. So hopefully I got it right this time. This thing is very cool. This is a metallic red. I don't know if this comes through. Yeah, I think you can probably see it. It's metallic red, very basic. Another, you know, one of the the bigger. 1970s wagons, although not quite the same as this one. This thing is, is truly a monster, but cool, very cool. And then we'll open up its compadre here, the 1980 Mercury Grand Marquis Colony Park. These are all green lights, of course. White wall tires, same roof rack, different grill. So this is, I think, the, the main difference between these two is the Ford, Ford grill versus the Mercury grill. This one's got a little bit of a janky. Oh, I guess this flips down. Okay. There we go. There's hair or something in there. Yeah. Okay. No, I guess it closed. Okay. Trailer hitch, no trailer hitch. All right, cool. All right, let's see. Set you guys up like this. And get the white nomad to join you. And next up, we have the Volvo V60 from Matchbox. This was a super fast release and was a awesome peg warmer for quite a while. This thing really hung out in the stores. Um, it's a cool casting. I can't say that the, lo the livery is the most beautiful thing in the world. But, you know, like so many of the Matchbox premium releases, it's a bit hit, and, hit or miss. Um, and then we have the Chasing Diecast Cars section of the video. Um, he's a huge fan of Volvo 850s from, from what I've learned in his videos. Um, so this was the first release from Hot Wheels. And there was this racing livery. And I have all of these. I'm not going to show all of them. I think everybody's seen these a million times. I mean, I can quickly show. Here's the yellow mainline release, since it was just happened to be sitting there. I think we've all seen these a million times. Then we have the premium release from the Fast Wagon set. Same set that had the Amazon in it. This is very nice. And then we have the Volvo 850 
Pro Street version. Hoosier tires, big hood scoop, roll cage, hand painted details. Obviously this is a custom from my brief flirtation with trying to make customs. <laughs> but it's a wagon so I can show it off. And then one more, uh, Volvo 850, uh, another custom with the surfboard on top. This one I worked and worked trying to make it into something very cool. And I got some you know bungee cords on here with little metal clips. And I was hooking, finally, you know, there's real pain to get this thing hooked onto this roof rack. I broke the roof rack a couple times, 3D printed roof rack. And I uh, had to print it. Oh, man, it was a pain to, print, <laughs> to get a good print of this roof rack. But hooking the, the bungee cord on there and... Uh, Got the last one on and immediately dropped it. <laughs> Scratched the paint and broke the tip off of this surfboard. 3D printed surfboard too, which was also a real pain to create. But <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, so uh, that's, uh, that's my 850 beach wagon, I guess you can call it. Um, then we have from Matchbox Volvo RS6. Nice blue color. And from Hot Wheels, their version of the Volvo RS6, also from the Fast Wagon set, car, car culture set. Very cool. And then the Mini GT version, also the RS6 which I showed recently in another video. It's a very nice version. Don't love the wheels on this in reality, but they're not bad. They're probably real. I mean, this is probably what they actually look like. I don't know. I'm being attacked by some kind of bug. Um, <laughs> okay. And the last one is this Mercedes, uh, 2020 Mercedes CLA shooting brake. And I had intended to look up what shooting brake means. I actually do not know. So I'm, I'm wondering if somebody can tell me what does shooting brake mean? Because this seems to be a term that's used for wagons in Europe. We don't use it in the United States, at least I've never seen it. But I've seen both Mercedes and uh, Jaguar use the term shooting brake for their wagons. So why do they use that? Hopefully somebody can tell me that. And uh, yep, so this is the last one. Uh, so thank you for watching. Again, if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. I managed to keep it under, well, under 14 minutes, so that's not too bad. And uh, you know, leave a comment with your favorites. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.